All right, let's talk about some space bugs. I have been pondering what I'm going to do for my Leviathan color scheme, and I've finally decided. So I started with Karaberg Crimson. Now this is going to be for the body itself. So any kind of the um, sort of fleshy part of the carapace, that is what you want to hit with Karaberg Crimson. So that's all of the undercarriage areas, the arms, the legs, and I even hit the gun with Karaberg Crimson. And don't worry if you make a mess because we're going to clean up all that later. So, that being said, and if you'll excuse the visor there for just a moment, I did get my get the visor in this in the shot a couple of times. I'm still working on the camera angles. Anyway, moving on. So, the next step, I went with a couple of contrast paints, Volupus, Shaish, and Talisar. These are kind of my favorite go-to for different schemes, including galaxy schemes and things like that. So what I did is I started off with a little bit of Volupus, but I quickly realized that I could go in with Shaish Purple, and none of this is thinned down. This is all straight out of the, well, it's not straight out of the bottle. I did put some on my palette so I could mix the colors. So what I'm doing is I'm putting that uh, Shaish Purple over all of the carapace, and then once I am done with that, as you can see here, I'm just kind of slapping it on there. It's it. This is a very quick job. It did not take very long. Um, once I slapped that on there, I took that Volupus Pink and I put that on the topmost areas of the carapace itself. So anything that was on the very tips, I also hit with Talisar Blue, but this ended up being kind of an unnecessary step. So you can skip the Talisar in this particular instance. But it does add a certain bit of um, extra color in there than uh, a lot more than you would think, actually. So you go ahead and repeat that process for all of the carapace, including the gun, and just kind of mix that Volupus Pink in there with the Shaiish Purple. Now what this does is this makes a darker area on the sides and in somewhat in the recesses and then that lighter Volupus Pink kind of blends the two t together and, and gives that transition. Now again the Talisar was not really necessary. So moving on, I went, once everything was dry, I took some Pro Acryl paints, and you can do this with any paint you'd like. You could use a black, you could use a, a green, whatever. So I took a darker purple, and I kind of modeled that across the carapace and across the tops of the arms as well, and all of the arms and all of like the the uh, the shoulder areas and part of the head. I used that purple to kind of add some dots and some and eventually this is this is all going to kind of be blended together and we'll see how that goes so after that what i did is i took some green and i made some lines on the carapace itself and i, I took the edges of that carapace and i and i painted it all that jade green now the jade green piece it worked out really well. It, it does break things up a little bit. Green is kind of one of those colors that, that does that. So it, it's all on the edges, the, the outer edges. And those outer edges kind of stand out once you get that green laid down on top of it. Now, the um, as you can see here, I went back and I did a dry brush. Now, this is with a lighter purple. I used uh, Sorceress Mist, which is a Reaper color, but you can use any color you want. And actually, I could have just thinned down that uh, purple color that I from Pro, Pro Acryl if I wanted, but I just decided to use what I had on hand. Now, this can be any color you want. It could be even a lighter pink. Anything that is a lighter color than your base Karaberg Crimson that goes on the skin itself. Now, once that was done, I went back and I added a couple of black dots here and there among the purple modeling. This is not really a necessary step, but I kind of felt like it added a little bit of something to the scheme itself. Just to break things up and add like a, a dark color in there among those purple dots. So, like, like I said, you don't really need to do this step in particular. Now, 
I went back and I took this color, which is the white blue, and I added that to the eyeballs and I added that to the teeth as well, just to lighten things up. Really simple process. You just put a dot on the eyes and you just go across the outer edges of the teeth. Now this is what it looks like so far. And it looks pretty good. Now you could leave it like this and this would be perfectly fine. It would be a great color scheme and it would make your army look pretty good. Me on the other hand, I kind of like to push things a little bit further and I hadn't really spent a whole lot of time on the project at this point. So what I did is I took some of that jade green and I added some maggot white to it and then I took it and I dry brushed it um, sort of reverse against those against the carapace itself and what that does is it lightens up that green color and adds a little bit of uh, transition and then for my last step here this is probably the longest part of the video uh, I went back and this is again not a required step okay I did a light edge highlight on all of the outer carapace areas where the green hit now I am not actually doing a full edge highlight here. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm just doing, uh, I'm just kind of dotting the edges and just dragging across a couple of the edges a little bit. I'm not going across the whole thing. Just like I do with Space Marines, I don't edge highlight the whole thing. I just ed edge highlight a few places and make it look like it's got some, you know, worn edges on the outer edge of the carapace. Now again, this is not a required step, but let me tell you, it looks good. It makes it pulls the whole scheme together. It builds up that extra bit of layer of color that breaks up the um, the purples and the reds and the blues, and it kind of adds a really light white green to kind of brighten up the carapace itself. Now this is what it looks like when you're done. Honestly, I'm really happy with this, and I think I'm going to use this for all my Tyranids. Anyway, I wanted to make this a quick video, so uh, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you on the next video. Go paint some space bugs.